Hey guys, it's Theo. If you followed my channel, you probably have seen the video where I played Pokemon games for the first time. And I did mention there that I would play the new one when it got out. Well, I'm currently preparing for that and I stumbled upon some difficulties connecting my Switch to my PC and my camera to use it as a microphone. This is why I thought it would be a good idea to make a video for you guys to show you how I managed to do it without spending hundreds of bucks on a capture card. First of all, you do need a capture card to connect your Switch to your PC. I saw some other ways for other consoles, but for the Switch at least, this was the only way to make it work. But you don't need to buy an expensive one. I ordered a capture stick for 6 euros that let you connect your HDMI cable to a USB port, which works just fine. After you get a stick, you need to download two things. First is the OBS program that will be your working ground for screen recording and streaming. Second will be a program to connect your camera, if you want to use it as webcam, to your PC. In my case, this was EOS utility, as well as the webcam utility. After downloading both, you can connect your devices using the capture stick and the cable that came with your camera to your PC. Now, I had some problems at this point. First of all, you need to enable all the webcam settings and allow your computer to use whatever device you have connected or else OBS is not gonna see those devices. This was one problem I had with the Switch while setting up OBS because I just couldn't find it in my list of devices. If you're not sure if it's your fault or just the capture stick being damaged, you can go to the Window Photo app and try using it. If you can switch there from one device to another, then it's probably just some settings that are disabled. Second, if you already downloaded your camera program in the past, check if it's up to date and if you are allowed the remote control. After that, you can start setting up your devices in OBS. I put my Switch and camera as a recording device and choose the right devices from the list. Mine are kind of strangely named, so I had to test it out a bit. Leave all of the other settings as they are. Now go to your general settings in OBS and go to the audio menu. Now make sure that all of the global audio devices are in default. We will be changing them manually. After that, put audio input devices for each device you're using. Maybe there's a better way for this, but that's just how I made it work. There you can choose from where the audio is going to come. I wanted to have the audio from the game, as well as my talking to the microphone on my camera as the audio. Now you should see those bars moving when you start the game and speak into the camera. You can put some filter over your microphone if you want to make the audio better, but that's up to you. At this point, I still haven't been able to hear my game audio while recording, which is pretty annoying. To change that, you must go to the advanced audio features and change the monitoring to monitor and output. Now you should be able to hear a game while recording as well. Just to avoid audio interfering with each other, I would suggest you to use headphones. If you choose them on your PC as your default device, OBS is gonna use them automatically. I had to search multiple videos to get to this point, so I hope that this video is gonna be helpful to someone. I'm now OBS Pro, so there will probably be things I'm gonna adjust in the future. But for now, I'm happy that everything is working and that I can finally start filming my Let's Play. If you're interested in not missing out my future video, where I'll be using this software for the first time, feel free to subscribe and leave a like, and I will see you all next week. Ciao!